Hey everyone, I'm coming to you from my bedroom today to talk to you about relationships. Business relationships, client relationships, followers relationships, um, the people that are in your pipeline to do business with, your vendors, um, family. I think that right now is a really important time to stay connected more than ever. We're hearing uh, what our newscasters and the media is telling us that we're better together and we really really are we need each other now more than ever in dealing with the coronavirus is um, there, There's so many uncertainties, right? Um, already I'm gonna say that probably April's gonna suck for most of our businesses um, so how do we propel our businesses forward in a new way because we're not going to go forward based on our January plans because he can just throw that out the window. We've got to, we got to pivot. We've got to turn. We've got to do the dance because we're in a new situation now. Uh, the market's different. The climate of business is different. People are different. And so all I can see in that for today is it's really about building and maintaining relationships with the people that we're doing business with and the people who are in our pipeline to do businesses with business with. Um, so with that, let me just give you a couple of tips here. In building relationships, I think it's important to uh, be authentic and honest in all the posts and things that you're doing online. Um, there's still a lot of marketing that can be done to keep you in front of your clients, whether that's print stuff. I mean, we're still mailing things. We can do that. Um, you can beef up your social media so that instead of posting once a day or three or four times a week, you're posting several times a day if you've got the good content to do that with. Um, you can use technology, video, your apps, your chat apps. There's so many ways to stay in touch with so many people today. Um, don't disregard that. Don't think that the 50, 150, 250 people that's in your database aren't worth anything or it's not enough because it just takes one person to make the difference in a month, right? When you're an, an entrepreneur, one person, one client, one deal that can make the difference in whether you eat or not. So focus on those one people and build relationships based on that connection that you have already with them, but by staying in touch with them and staying connected to them during this time. Um, now may not be the time to be salesy, salesy, salesy. You know, your post might not need to be all about uh, the house you just listed or the deal that you just did or whatever. And instead, it's about connecting. It's about reaching out in a human way to connect to those people who know you. Um, if you're in business and people follow you, they follow you because they want to learn from you. So teach them something, you know, entertain them, still give them content that is going to be rewarding for them and work on building those relationships. So I, that's, that's all I wanted to say today. It helps me to stay in touch with you. I know that uh, my business, you know, is as volatile as yours is. And right now, all I'm wanting to focus on is being able to bring content that's useful and helpful to my clients and to my pipeline so that we can all share in this thing together and be better together. Um, so with that, go after your relationships, guys. Get a cozy spot, make some phone calls, and above all the people that you're with, your loved ones, um, build on that. Pay attention to them. Pay attention to your kids. Uh, let them know, you know, eye to eye that you're watching them, that you're there for them, that you're present with them. I think that's really important at this time. Um, I'm here. If you guys want to talk, chat, got ideas you want to send to me, text me at 214-208-3987. Find a cozy spot. Pour a cocktail or a glass of wine or a good glass of milk and a cookie and enjoy the evening, guys. Ciao. <laughs>